Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So today we will talk about one more new topic in Selenium and we will see that how can we intercept our network. Yes, sometimes what happened that we have to intercept our network and according to that we can perform various operations of all the data of all the responses which I am getting in my network. So till now it was not possible to do that but Selenium 4 provides a feature through which we can intercept our network. So in this video, I will explain you about uh, some codes in which you can go ahead, intercept the network and let's say you can do some operation, for example, blocking some URLs or blocking some image and then you can see how your application is behaving. Okay, so let's start. So this is a blank class and a blank method. So first I need to initialize my driver and I need to set up my driver. So for that I will do web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup. Simple. And once it is done, then I will initialize my driver. So I will create an instance of web driver driver equal to new chrome driver. Okay. So once we have done with these two codes, we will go ahead and we will initialize our dev tools. So it would be dev tools. Okay, the name of the variable will be dev tools. And for that, I have to cast my driver into the Chrome driver. So I will cast it, Chrome driver, and I will keep here driver, okay. All right, so this is the way I can go ahead and cast my driver. And now there's a method here, which is get dev tool. So that will create an instance of the dev tool class. Okay, so this is the very common line which we used uh, every time. It will download the Chrome driver for me. I don't have to download it manually. And this is a second line. So there's web driver as interface, driver is a variable, or you can say an object. And this new Chrome driver is a class. Okay, and now what I'm doing, I'm casting my driver into the Chrome driver because if you see, my driver is still an interface. Okay, my driver is not the Chrome driver. So my driver is interface and that is the reason I need to cast my driver and into the Chrome driver so that I can use this method because this method signature is not there in my web driver interface. That's the reason I need to cast it. Okay, so if uh, once it is done then i can just create my session so i will say dev tool dot create session okay and when my session is created i can give different commands of dev tool so i will use the command send now in this we have to first enable our network and then we can intercept it and we can block some urls or whatever things we want to do so for enabling a network so there's a class here which is called network dot and after that it is say we have to type enable okay so this will ena enable my network but here i need to give certain options like what will be the buffer size what will be the resource buffer size and post data size so here i will give everything empty so i will give optional dot empty and why i am giving dot empty right now because right now I am not concerned about the size and anything because I just want to intercept my network. Okay. And this option is a, uh, a method, uh, option is a class and it's empty method. This has been introduced to avoid the null pointer exception. And that is the reason we are providing this class and a method. So here also it will be same optional dot empty. And after that also optional dot empty. Okay, so this is done. Just a second. Okay. All right, so now we have already uh, enabled our network and now I need to intercept it and I want to block its URL so that it does not give me any kind of a uh, URL there. So let's see what we can give. So I will give dev tools dot send key uh, method again. And here, if you want to block some particular thing in the response which you are getting, so you have to type network dot 
and then you can type set block URLs and now I can give all the URLs which I need to block here so for that I will create a list here and I want to create a immutable list so I will type immutable list okay and uh, I will give the immutable list of I can give different patterns here so for now what I will give I will give one pattern for the cascading style sheet so I will do star dot CSS okay I want to intercept that and I also want to intercept any image so I will say star dot JPG okay so any any image which has a JPG extension I want to intercept that too okay so basically what this command will do into the network which I have enabled in that it will set some URL it will block some URL there and the URLs which has .css or .jpg it will block those so this is one of the example in which we are intercepting our network and we are blocking some particular URLs when we get a response and we will see if we do that how our application is responding and how our application is behaving in a specified manner or not and then we can open any website for right right now let's assume that uh, let me just open one website here let's assume we are opening a website amazon.in so right now you will see you know it all has pictures and everything is looking good here but assume that if I want to block some URL into this website so once I have given this command I can open this website onto my code so it will be driver.get okay once it is given that's it so now my program is finished and now I will run it so very simple program just created the web driver and just create dev tools corrected a session enable the network set the block URLs and now we are opening the website so now let's see how does it behave so what I'm expecting here, I'm expecting all the images and CSS to get blocked in the response. And according to that, I want to see if my application is behaving in some particular manner. Right now, I have not put any assertion, but you can also put some kind of assertion here if you want to. Okay. So right now, we are just understanding how the dev tools which is provided in Selenium 4 can help us for that. So you will see my program is running now in the logs. Okay. The browser is open site is open and now you will see it does not show me any of the images here can you see that no images no css everything is gone only one image because maybe it is within some frame or something but except that everything is gone from here okay so this is the way we are intercepting our network we are blocking some kind of a response in the network and we are seeing how my images are how my application is behaving so by intercepting your network you can do many more things it is just one example to tell you how can we do that in selenium 4 okay so i think that's it for today so happy learning and have a great day